Good evening. Today is Wednesday, March 13th, 2013, and you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today we are back on the Orient Express, heading from Vienna onwards to Budapest. In the last episode of The Last Express, the adventure game we're playing through, you remember that we stole some gold from Kronos to convince Herr Schmidt that we were the upstanding gun buyers that we presented ourselves to be. We ducked and dodged a knife held by an angry and fussy PMSing Serbian, and uh, we basically, you know, snuck in, hung out on top of the train, smashed a couple windows, vandalism, you know, the usual. Lying, stealing, cheating. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to jump back into the game in July 25th, 1914 at 25 minutes to 8 p.m. to see what other shenanigans we can get up to. I think the first order of business is to get our important, the crux of the whole mystery, that wonderful golden egg, back into our possessions before someone else steals it from us. Can't have that. Here we go. Premier service, premier service, le dîner est servi dans le wagon restaurant. Dinner is served in the restaurant car. So we're here in dinner. We've had a lovely dinner. Uh, I can tell you we had uh, some, uh, let's see, uh, some pork chops and uh, some gravy and some mac and cheese, a little cornbread. Mm -mm -mm. You didn't know they serve fine Southern cooking on the Orient Express. So while the conductor is uh, gone, let's do more of that famous sneaking and stealing. Let's see. I'm all combobulated as per usual. Back here. Okay. So we heard Maxie, the dog, barking, Anna Wolf's dog, who has been guarding. <laughs> our golden egg. Good boy, Maxie. And there you have it. What everybody's fighting and fussing over. And it's ours, all ours, and we'll never give it up. Never, never shall I shat. No, I shall be queen of all that is. I okay, never mind. Um, let's see here. I wanted to show you this because I'm hoping I can sneak in. There's a little, there's a little Easter egg in here that shows a picture of Jordan Metner, the uh, developer, and I. Uh, it's like a little. Um, let's see if I can find it. Pretty soon the conductor's gonna come back and kick us out of here, but uh, nope, I can't find it. It's supposedly in here somewhere. I'll have to look in the uh, in my strategy guide, and, and I will have an episode which shows all of the Easter eggs of the Last Express, including this one. But I just thought since we were back here, I might as well just try and do it. But okay, no go. I'll find it the next time. In the meat. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Don't do it again. Don't do it again, Jessa. Go out this way. <gasps> he got us. Monsieur, may I escort you back to the dining car? So we have August Schmidt waiting here for someone. Excuse me. Pardon me. Couldn't even smile or nothing. Can't even be Excuse decent, me, could you? And Herr Schmidt is waiting for a a guest. But I have a feeling that he his guest may not show up. But in the meantime. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, that didn't sound friendly. I didn't understand a word of it, but it definitely sounded like somebody was calling somebody else's mother fat. I mean, obviously, that's what was happening. But I'm also heading down here because I happen to know... I'm wondering what's down here. 
I happen to know that Tatiana was heading in this direction. I wonder where she went. Oh, there she is. Oh, with her good buddy Alexei. Let's see if we can well eavesdrop a little bit. Or if they're not going to say anything. If they say anything, we'll be able to hear it through the door. So I'll wait here for just a minute. Oh, she leaving her grandfather. Her grandfather is the elderly Russian in uh, compartment A in the other train. But Vasilia Valensky is one of the most evil products of the most evil system ever invented by men on earth. If you hate my grandfather so much, then you must also hate me. Tatiana. Oh, that didn't sound good. That did not sound good. So there's more arguing going on at the end of the train. Alexi, but that also means that conveniently Alexi Oh, we could just No, we can't because we have the, the egg But as long as he is out there we can also do a little sneaking Let's get the egg into the compartment for safekeeping and the little whistle that goes with it. Perfect. And then let's see if we can't get into Alexi's place. That door is locked, but luckily, we thieved ourselves a key. I still don't trust this guy. Let's see if we can find anything in his compartment to help us out. He's still reading his Fred Friedrich, Frederick Nischke. Friedrich or, or Friedrich? Friedrich? Eh, I don't know. And his luggage is up here. Let's see what it is. Ho, 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 ho. What have we here? If you remember, we saw him working on this a number of episodes back when we spied on him outside of uh, the window, hanging on, on the side of the train, you know, like we do. But this is the only thing we can take, so... Let's take it, and I don't think we can look at it in inventory. No, we can't. <gasps> uh oh. I say, I think you've got the wrong compartment. Looks like we both got the wrong compartment. George Abbott, you wily old bastard. <laughs> what are you up to? So we have gone into uh. Alexi's compartment and gotten the what looks like the makings of a bomb. Now, if you remember, earlier in the game, we also picked up this. Out of his book that he was reading, it shows the timetable from Paris to Constantinople on the Orient Express via Belgrade. Interesting. The exact train that we're on. And, uh-oh... Huh, we left Vienna, and we're coming up on Galanta next. We just passed through Posseny, which it doesn't show on the map, unfortunately. So Galanta should be next, and he has scheduled 1040. He has something, well, it can't be a bomb, because we have just taken his little clock mechanism, so we've thwarted that. So his whole plan was to blow up the entire train and everyone on it because we were all um, moneyed individuals. I didn't mean to go out, out there. Um, we all have money. Well, our character doesn't. Our character's incredibly poor. Didn't buy a ticket or anything. But that was his plan, was to blow up the train. So we've thwarted that. You have to make your bed, madame. Huh. And these two... Pardon me. 
looking most... Oh, and Anna. Hello, Anna. I was afraid you'd gotten off in Vienna. In Vienna? Why should I? I don't know, but I'm glad to see you. The journey will be over soon enough. So, what happens to August Schmidt now? He will find the police waiting for him in Budapest. The guns will be discovered and confiscated. I see. A job well done. You must be very proud of yourself. You want to talk. Is smuggling guns your idea of an honorable profession? Is that my profession? It's like a game to you, taking sides. Today you help the Bosnians, tomorrow the English. Do you want to know why Tyler died? I'll tell you. For a thousand years, people have been killing each other over the Balkans. It's not about to stop for one American. Our history is a chain of blood. It reaches deep into the past, it binds us, and it has nothing to do with you. Tyler is dead, you can't bring him back. Why don't you go home before the same thing happens to you? Tyler was my friend. Maybe that word doesn't mean much to you. To me, when a friend asks for help, and you get there too late, you don't leave it at that. Go away, please. If there's one thing we're good at, it's sweet talking the women. Good evening. I saw you in the dining car, but I didn't want to bother you. Did you enjoy your dinner? You know, was satisfactory, yes. Must be delightful to be able to dine with your family every night. That's the worst part about traveling. All those meals alone. The loneliness rather gets to you after a while. My problem is the opposite one, monsieur. Oh, yes. Well, I can see that. Really? Hmm. Who is it? Conductor to make up your bed for So that was George Madame. Abbott talking with his uh, roommate. Where are you going? And who are you looking at? Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Deuxième service. Excuse me, monsieur. Le dîner est servi dans le wagon restaurant. Dinner is served in the restaurant car. It's a busy little corridor right there. So, she's not going to dinner. Where is she going? I'm not going to follow her back here because I happen to know one of the game mechanics is that once uh, some of these characters disappear back here, they just basically disappear into thin air. But that was most interesting. First, Excuse they were me. arguing oh, heatedly. This guy cracks me up. C'est délicieux de vous revoir. Euh, votre table vous attend, comme toujours. Suivez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Vous savez, ce soir, le dîner est moins intolérable que d'habitude. <laughs> Peut-être que cela n'offusquera pas vos fins palais de gourmets. Thank you. <laughs> Today's dinner is less bad than usual. <laughs> That's Excuse the way me. to sail the mill. <laughs> to really just sell it Bonsoir, right on madame. <laughs> Avez-vous fait votre choix? Oui, le filet de bœuf. Bleu. Encore du Bordeaux, ma chérie? Mais oui. Voilà, un Bordeaux. Très bien. Et pour madame? Excusez-moi. Le poisson? Très bien, madame. If I'm not mistaken, she just ordered a hot dog. I just can't imagine letting herself in for that sort of a life. I mean, after the hell that Anne's been through. Ce n'est pas si terrible pour Anne. Elle s'amuse bien. Son mari s'amuse de son côté. Je dirais même que tout a bien tourné pour eux. Pour Charlotte aussi, d'ailleurs. Don't joke about it, it's too awful. Mais je suis très sérieuse. Moi aussi, je pense me marier quand la bonne occasion se présentera. Vous aussi faire la même chose. I shall never marry. Ne sois pas si dramatique. Je te dis pas de faire quelque chose de si compliqué en ce moment. On a tout le temps de s'amuser. Tu vas rester jeune et belle pendant encore deux ou trois ans. Peut-être même encore plus Galanta, belle. Quand tu auras plus d'assurance, tu seras t'habiller. Après ça, comment veux-tu profiter de la vie quand tu seras une vieille fille I love that. You'll still be beautiful for two or three years. <laughs> you have a lot to look forward to. <laughs> so, I wonder... Oh, and here comes our good friend, Herr Schmidt. Let's see, wait a minute, what time is it here? Okay, it is... 10 minutes to 9. I'd love to be able to tell Alexi here that we thwarted his every plan. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I wonder what Herr Schmidt is up to. I'm just going to have a seat. So since Anna was in her compartment, that means that she chose not to go to dinner with Herr Schmidt. Yes, Mr. Some brandy, please. Uh, your best. Maybe I'm Herr Schmidt is still feeling very uh, financially expansive. He doesn't know he's about to do five to ten in the in the Belgrade jail. Let's see what he has to say for himself, if anything. Nope, nothing yet. I'm gonna wait a minute till he gets served because I have a feeling that he might want to speak to us. It uh, occurred to me in the comments that uh, several people had mentioned in comments that they uh, were initially turned off by the art style of The Last Express, particularly the somewhat slideshow movement of the characters, which I love. And I think it's probably because I played the game, you know, the first month it was released and have been playing it for 10 years. So I'm very used to that and I hadn't really thought about it. I think it's part of the charm of, of the whole situation. That waiter's taking forever. Could die of thirst at this rate. Your brandy, monsieur. Thank you. You may leave the bottle. Très bien, monsieur. I love it. You may leave the bottle. <laughs> and notice he has two glasses. One for him and one for us. Or not. <laughs> so I'm waiting for a speech bubble to, co to come up. I might have to come back in a little bit. What time is it? Yep, quarter to nine. Um, because um, I should be able to have a conversation with Herr Schmidt at this point. According to my memory, there's a conversation bubble that I'm waiting. You know, you are way too sneaky for your own good. I wish I could have pickpocketed her as she went by. Oh, there it is. Okay, speech bubble. Yay! Here we go. Herr Whitney, have a drink. It helps make the journey shorter. Thanks. I have misjudged Fräulein Wolf. There is no other explanation. Again and again, I ask myself, could I have imagined it? A fantasy? A romantic dream? But then I remember the way she looked at me. The warmth of her eyes. And I know I was not mistaken. Something has changed her. Well, August, she is an artist. An artist? Yes. When I return to Munich, she shall play for me. She will perform at my house. Let me fill your glass, Herr Whitney. You at least have not disappointed me. Yes, yes. She will play for me. It will be a wonderful evening. You will be there too, Herr Whitney. And Kronos and the Oblenskis, we shall all be together in a big gold room. And she will play. And we will dance, 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 dance so much. Der Max, der Max, der Max hat beide wie Max, wie Max, wie Max. La da 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 da, dum dum da da, la la la, dum dum da da. Life is short, everybody. Let's dance together. So you can see why I was so very interested in getting him. He's like, oh, shoot my head. Oh, Lord. I did one too many plies and revelés. <laughs> and a couple of, uh, I think I split my pants. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Um, ten minutes after nine. And uh, not too much else to, you know, look at him wobbling. <laughs> Oh, shoot! Boy, that brandy is good stuff! Oh my goodness! Oh, burp! Oh, Ooh, I just have to- oh lord, sorry! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna follow him back and see what he does. Oh darn it, he's work walking as usual. Sort of. A little bit wobbly. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all the eavesdropping we can do at this point. People are going to start to head to bed. And um, let's see if 
Our friendly Serbians are still... Oh, wait, let's see if also if Anna will say anything to us. Yes? Who is it? Oh, Miss Wolf, sorry to bother you, my mistake. Nope. And these guys are tucked into bed after doing whatever evil, evil stuff they sh are doing up there. And Tatiana is heading to bed. I think. Wait, hold on. No, she's not. That's not her corridor. I wonder what she's doing standing there like that. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, good. He's turned down our bed. Perfect. Okay. So, um, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you about before we head to bed. Uh-oh. Visitor. Hold on! Let me just get my robe on! Who is it? Monsieur, may I speak to you? Of course. Come in. You were so kind to my grandfather. I... I didn't know how to begin. Is he worse? No. It's Alexei. He has asked me to get off the train at Budapest and run away with him. What did you say? What do you think I said? My grandfather's ill. How can I leave him? It would be wrong, wouldn't it? Alexei is a romantic. You know what they say. A romantic is someone who spends his life looking for a good way to die. When I told him no, he started saying wild things. He said I'm his only connection to the world, and that if I won't go with him, his life means nothing. You don't know him. I really think he might do something crazy. He wanted to kill my grandfather with a bomb. He would have blown up the train and killed dozens of innocent people. A bomb? What kind of bomb? He made it himself. He's been planning it for weeks. Of course I talked him out of it. But now I'm afraid I don't know what he will do. I love him so. I'll see what I can do. Would you? Oh, thank you, monsieur. Thank you. You know, young love these days. So messy. All right. Uh, well, I don't think he's really going to be able to do anything about that bomb because we have taken his clock. The main thing he needs, the timer, that would just signify when the bomb is going to go off. So I think we can pretty much rest easy. There was one more thing I wanted to show you. If you get stuck in this game, and it does happen, one of the um, complaints that I've seen about this game is that because it is um, done in real time, the game advances more or less in real time, um, that you can get stuck not knowing what to do. Just everybody's going on about their business and moving through the corridor. So the developers have very kindly put in um, some help for you for when you get stuck. And it's this conductor's passenger list that we <clears throat> uh, stole from the conductor of our train when we first got onto the Orient Express. You can steal it at any time that he's moving around the train, which he does quite a lot. So, you know, there's plenty of opportunities to be able to go over and nab this. It's an important thing to have because it not only tells you about the bus passengers, but if you click on their names. Why don't you make it sing? you'll get a little tip or a little bit of the, and it changes throughout the game, a little bit of the last bit that the, the, the last important thing that, that you, interaction you had with that passenger. So Alexei Dolnikov is uh, Tatiana's, uh, no, I'm sorry, the Russian gentleman with the bomb. Let's see what his says. There is good and bad in every man, Tatiana. But Vasily Abalinsky is one of the most evil products of the most evil system ever invented by men on earth. Yeah, so he's basically continuing to go on about how Tatiana's grandfather is a really, 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 like, super, like, totally bad do guy. And, you know, I'm like, okay, we get it. He sucks. All right, fine. Anyway, um, August Schmidt. Where does the fatherland's interest lie in arming a band of Serbian terrorists? The last time I looked at a newspaper, Serbia was allied to Russia and France. Your question is not a bad one. I leave it to you to find the answer. I have to admit that the man who did August Schmidt it did a great job with his voice. So, I mean, he's so schmarmy. Um, so, and then we have the four uh, women. Ma Mahmoud has nothing on; it has no voice uh, to him, his character. So, but the little whip, the women, his uh, four harem women do. Han Iznak. Han Iznak. Minhina. 
Aneznak and Mihena. I don't know what those mean, so if you know, please let me know. And then uh, Putnik of... I don't know who this character is. The man in the last train character. Um, here is uh, Kronos, who, uh, whose car has already left, but he does have something to say. His car left at Vienna. It says here Paris to Vienna. We already been through Vienna. We have already been through Vienna. I myself must leave the train in Vienna. In case we do not see each other again, I wish you a pleasant journey to Istanbul. I really have to commend the voice actors. For most, most of the voice actors are very well done. This is Count Obolensky, Tatiana's grandfather. Ah, так это вы мне приснились. Не берите. Может быть, она у вас запоет. I think he was referring to, or I know he was referring to, the golden egg that we stole. As he was sleeping, that's what he said to us, and he woke and saw us kind of sneaking out with the egg. So, uh, this is Tatiana. He said I'm his only connection to the world, and that if I won't go with him, his life means nothing. You don't know him. I really think he might do something crazy. Yeah, well, we have his little timer in our little pocket, so we're good there. And this is uh, Claude Bouterelle. He's uh, the uh, patriarch of the little family and Mademoiselle Boutiel and Francois Boutiel. Excusez-moi, monsieur. And he hasn't got much to say because they are not very central to the plot. Uh, and I should be saying Boutarel, not Boutiel. Ce chien devait être en cage dans la soute à bagages, tout simplement. She's the one who's responsible for putting our poor little wolfy dog back in the, in the tiny little cage. Oh. J'ai vu un scarabée noir. And Francois was important for us to get the beetle, the little golden piece that comes with the egg, which is important to it. This is Sophie and Rebecca. What were you writing all morning? Just my diary. And also, very, very important, we need to get into that compartment fairly soon and see what she's written about us because it's all about us, right? 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 Yeah. Okay, and then this is Anna Wolf, the violinist that we just had a most passionate conversation with. They sent you to break up Tyler's arms deal. You killed him and you stole the gold egg he was carrying. I didn't. It wasn't me. I've never killed anyone. I swear it. Yeah, right. Tell it to the judge, sister. And then these are the uh, Serbian uh, folks, um, Miles and Vesna. Uh, Vesna who pulled a knife on us. Let's see what they have to say. I tell you, he was afraid of something. There was a shadow on him. When I look into his eyes, they're the eyes of death. The eyes of death. I hope I never get the eyes of death because that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? So that's how you go through and um, kind of see when you get stuck, you can mouse over one of the characters and, and, and like I said, what they have to say throughout the game will change as you click on that. So you can go at numerous times and check and see where you need to be. So we have put the uh, egg here. Um, the time is nine. So we have some time here. I don't know if there's anything else for us to do, but let's just double check in this last episode. Or the last part of this episode, I should say. Have a good night. Everybody seems to be asleep. Let's see if there's anybody else in the smoking car having a late drink. Nope. And also, there's no paper today, so no articles to show you, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, there's Claude Boutarel. And so, yeah, okay. There's not too much else to do at this point except to head on for an early bed, you know, because thieving, lying, sneaking, and stealing takes a lot out of a guy. Good night, Monsieur Whitney. Until and they're still calling him, they all believe him to be Monsieur Whitney, even though we know he is Robert Cath. So, sleepy, sleepy pie. Um, before we do that, though, one more thing. I just wanted to show you the top of the egg. And you can just click it, and it'll open up there. Oh, whoa! Okay, that, yeah, whoa. Okay, that nightmare time. So, a couple episodes back, um, if you missed that episode... When we open this, I gotta close that. That's creeping me. Um, when we, when we opened this, there was a picture of a beautiful woman, and now there's a picture of that same beautiful woman with her throat cut. So 
I have a feeling that this egg has a bloody history. It's also interesting in that you can click the different gems if you feel like turning it around, clicking the different gems. And I had showed you this already, but the egg is also representative of the world, this being South America, North America, Africa, Europe, and so on. So each of these uh, gems are important places, I suppose, on the geography of the planet. Um, so, yeah. Right away, monsieur. Just wanted to show you that before we head to bed. Huh. What, you know, I, I really don't like that dude. He's, he really makes, really makes me nervous. So we're going to go to sleep at this point. Um, I'm going to end the episode here at 10 minutes to 10 p.m. on the Orient Express. Just about to head into Budapest. Having been very, very, um, I think successful in a number of ways, we have diffused a bomb plot by stealing the timer. We have done a lot more eavesdropping, heard some arguing, noticed Vesna going up to the beginning of the, the top of the train. Um, we have agreed to help Tatiana uh, in working and in, in figuring out how we're going to stop Alexi from being such a bonehead. Um, we have completely uh, irritated our romantic interest in Anna Wolf. Uh, so that's a good day. Oh, and we got drunk and danced with Herr Schmidt all around a very fruitful episode. I want to thank you as usual for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. It really does encourage me. And if you loved what you saw, join the party because it's a rocking party and subscribe. And I'll see you again on the Orange Express in the next episode. Have a great night. Thanks so much for watching. Get every new Jessa Channel video right in your email inbox. Subscribe, then from your YouTube homepage, click Manage Subscriptions, then check Email with new uploads.